Hi, if you're like me, you know that Sarmi in 1968 is one of the best sitcoms of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun to pull up a chair by the campfire and rewatch the sitcom with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023. Okay, let's see. Lieutenant Corporal Jack Jones is playing actor Clive Dunn. In 1968, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 48 years old and sadly on November 6, 2012, he passed away at 92 in Faro, Portugal. Well, I should probably be a big officer. <laughs> the size of boots, you fool! I'd like the size of eight, please. Eight? Thank you. Uh, by the way, I'm um... partying on the east coast of England. Uh, where there was no railway station and we did the show in a... Private Frank Pike is playback to Ian Lavender. In 1968, when he was on the sitcom, he was 22 years old, and now he's living healthy at 77. Yes, of course he's all right. There's a lot of steps, isn't there? There's always a lot of steps in a lighthouse. He's been gone nearly a quarter of an hour already. By the time he gets halfway up, he'll probably have to stop. A lot of lifts for him, from him. Um, and he saved me bus fares because I, couldn't, I couldn't, hadn't got a car in the day, those days. And he looked after me quite a lot um, as a youngster. Chief Warden Hodges is playing back to Bill Pertwee. In 1968, when he was on the sitcom, he was 42 years old, and sadly on May 27, 2013, he passed away at 86 in Truro, Cornwall, England. Pushing another bloke on a soapbox dressed in a log? <laughs> Why does the war effort? Yes. <laughs> if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd never have believed it. Looking for a family album almost, wasn't it, for you? Yes, yes it was. Yes, you're absolutely right there. I hadn't thought about that. That's a very good thing about a family album, yes. Because, uh... Captain George Minwaring is played back to Arthur Lowe. In 1968, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53 years old. And sadly, on April 15, 1982, he passed away 66 in Birmingham, England. I don't usually sit at the rail of the stalls. I usually sit in the Grand Circle of the Two and Thripnies. Yes, well, of course, you just have to take what seats you can, you know, in, uh, in wartime. Oh, yes, this war seems to be an excuse for anything. You can't even... But I, I believe that the, the less personality uh, an actor has of his own, the better he, he is able to portray the characters that just jog him on. Reverend Timothy Farthing is played back to Frank Williams. In 1969, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 38 years old, and sadly on June 26, 2022, he passed away at 90 years old in London, England. I've been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing? Uh, me, I'm a herbal junior reverence. Oh, I had no idea you were keen on all this apology. Now, have you been having your five a day? Five what? I can't do anything five times in a day. Vegetables. Oh, I had some potatoes. Are they Surgeon Arthur Wilson is playing back to John Lee Masuyer. In 1968, when he was on the sitcom, he was 56 years old, and sadly on November 15, 1983, he passed away 71 in Ramsgate, UK. Kind of level, do you understand what I mean? So we take the second letter of army, which is R, I mean, then we take the second letter of ARP, which is R, yeah. see, so then we're still level. I think, these days, and I've been involved in some myself in my life, uh, when you have to sort of sit around a table and think, oh my god, how am I going to say this and that? And Captain Cuts is played back to Michael Nose. In 1969, when he was on the sitcom, he was 32 years old, and now he's living out at 86. Oh yes, you'll find out, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. Now, Captain Manning, I want you to get your chaps together and brief them. Oh, don't forget. Absolute secrecy. Oh. <laughs> This poor boy's life is in tatters because of your selfish behaviour. Shame on you! Come on, Gideon. Private Charles Godfrey is played back to Arnold Ridley. In 1968, when he was on the sitcom, he was 72 years old, and sadly on March 12, 1984, he passed away at 88 in Northwood, London, England. <laughs> that wasn't enough, was it, Godfrey? Oh, hey. Do you think I could have another one? Oh. <laughs> Private James Fraser is played back to John Laurie. In 1968, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 71 years old, and sadly on June 23rd, 1980, he passed away at 83 in Buckinghamshire, England. Shillings the pair. Nine shillings you told you, for God's sake. Reduce the man to find something cheaper. Now there we are. 
Virgil Morris Yeatman is played by actor Edward Sinclair. In 1968, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 54 years old, and sadly on August 29, 1977, he passed away 63 in Cheddar, Somerset, England. I can't understand it, sir. They've got a lot of rifles tied to poles. You've been drinking. <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> Private Joe Walker is played by actor James Beck. In 1968, when he was on the sitcom, he was 39 years old, and sadly on August 6, 1973, he passed away at 44 in Roehampton, London, England. Gates, the first diversion. Right, Walker? Well, when you've warbled and Sergeant Wilson starts the first uh, diversion, I'm going to help him with it. That's right. Mr. Blue is played by actor Harold Bennett. In 1969, when he was on the sitcom, he was 71, and sadly on September 11, 1981, he passed away at 82 in London, England. Peeping chickens, uh, <laughs> restoring old picture frames. Now there's a dying art. I could give a good lecture on restoring old. Mrs. Mavis Pike is played by actress Janet Davies. In 1969, when she was on the sitcom, she was 41 years old. And sadly, on September 22nd, 1986, she passed away at 59 in Bromley, England. The farm. Did you see the way he was holding her in his arms? <laughs> who is your favorite character in the sitcom Death's Army? And what do you think about some actors who have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you and see you again.